Libra, it's me Stormy and here's your horoscope for January 2018. Oh my goodness, a whole new year. This is going to be a good year. You're starting out this month with career as the focus. This is pretty good, like not bad stuff to start out with at all. Now before we jump into the horoscope, I hope you will join me for a new feature I have going for our fresh and fabulous 2018. It's $3 Thursday. So the third Thursday of every single month, I will be teaching an astrology concept and all you got to do is bring Bring your chart, come into this live but private session with me, and I'm going to be teaching to you as well as answering questions about your personal charts. This is just a wonderfully fun way to have a smaller, intimate group where we're doing a live conversation, we're focusing on something very specific, and you get the opportunity to see it highlighted in your own chart. So I hope that you will join me for $3 Thursdays. You can book for one Thursday or buy the whole year for 36, whichever you want to do. They're both in the description box down below. Below. Choose the ones you want to be at. It's going to be awesome, okay? All right, Libra. So this month, not only is it the first month of 2018, but this month we have three moons. So it means we have certainly got some transition happening, right? Let's talk this through. Right at the beginning of the month, January 1st, bringing in this new year, we've got the full moon happening in Cancer. And for you, this sits in the 10th house. So we know Career is on the mind, the soul level calling, your reputation, all of those things that sit in that 10th house space at the top of your chart are what you're working on now. Now, because the full moon says something has to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted, there has to be a shift. For some of you, a project or a work detail or something like that could be coming to an end, and it may even be coming to a very successful end because this is sitting in the midst of a grand water trine. So this could actually be something very good coming to you. You know what I mean? When you see that grand trine, something good is certainly happening. Great pockets of opportunity. It's like a great pocket of opportunity. Not to mention the planets involved in this trine are Neptune, and then we've got some Scorpio energy over here as well. So really good energy around the career. The other thing is there could be something you've been working on and you're ready to implement it and put it in place in terms of your career. Whatever it is, professional focus is certainly what we're looking at as we're here just at the first part of the month. But we're working on this now because you've been working on it, Libra, right? It's not just popping up. It's not just like, oh, work on your career today. Nothing like that. You've been working on it. Now I get, think you get to see a little bit of the progress for sure. Now, I also feel like in terms of getting a raise or something like that, because this is a grand trine, there is an opportunity for something like that as well. Now, on the second, we're going to see Uranus come out of retrograde and move direct. Now, while Uranus was retrograde, things from the past, emotional things from the past, psychological things, um, maybe even places that you've been stuck and you haven't been able to see how to move forward, Uranus really shook up a lot, breaking down the structures we've been keeping around um, ourselves and our egos, what we believe about ourselves, right? Because he's retrograde in the sign of Aries, the sign of the self. Now he's going to be direct in the sign of Aries. So moving some things forward. Now, Aries is your opposite, so we know for you, Libra, that this is seventh house business, okay? This is relationship stuff. So if you've been stuck in relationships, you've been stuck in a relationship with yourself even, Uranus could be coming forward to help you have some forward movement, forward traction, bringing some rejuvenation and reinvention to this section of your life as well. So really beautiful, especially if you're trying to have new career things. And as we get later in the month, we're also going to see Venus and the sun step into your fifth house. So if you've been single looking for romance, wonderful energy for that, already coupled up, bring a little bit of fun to the table. Now, when we get to the 12th, we see a loaded fourth house for you. Whenever you work on career, somewhere down here at home, there's always this kind of opposition or there's always this place where you have to think about not only the career, but what's happening at home. You've got a loaded fourth house. Saturn is working on you for the next three years in your home zone. So the fourth house is home, family, property, things with women, the mother, your roots, um, your past, things like that. You're going to work on those things. As well, Pluto is up here in this house, the sun and Venus. And then on the 12th, we work welcome in Mercury. So 
one of the things I'm thinking of because Saturn is just making its move into this house as well, just back in December, you could actually be experiencing some tension in your home life. Maybe something's going on with someone that you live with. Um, you're trying to make changes and not everybody's on board with those changes or something is happening with your lease. Maybe you're getting ready to move. Whatever it is, Saturn, I think, has put the weight here, so you have to consider doing something different, but Mercury coming in is bringing fresh communication, fresh ideas, fresh thinking, fresh deci decision making, as well, Uranus is now direct, so helping you in the relationship and conversation zone. So whatever's happening on the domestic forefront, stick to the truth, be authentic about what you want, pay attention, and you know, you're always trying to achieve some level of balance when it comes to work and home when we get planets lighting those up. So just do the best that you can. You are the sign always looking for balance, so I have no doubt that you will eventually find it. Now on the 16th, we have a new moon happening in Capricorn. Again, lighting up brand new space for new beginnings, new things in your home zone. Remember at the new moon, we plant the seeds of intention of what we want so that they can grow. We don't know exactly what it's gonna look like, but we begin things. We begin them here at the new moon. And what better energy to begin them in than Capricorn? This is a solid, grounded, earthy sign to create stable security in your home zone. No better energy to work with. On the 18th, we see Venus moving into Aquarius. On the 21st, we see the sun. Venus sun energy is delicious. It's magnetic, it's beautifying, it's essence, it's lively. So you've got a lot going on in your fifth house, right? The fifth house, the house of true love, of course, we can see some romance rolling in, but also the house of joy, of play, of children, of creative expression. It's a very joyful, happy, expressive house. And yours is gonna be lit up with two of the most fun, delicious energies that can be here. So you will likely be very magnetic, be attracting things to you. This could even have a financial benefit to you as well at this point, especially you've been working on career. Wouldn't it be nice to get a little promotion or a raise or some kind of windfall or something like that i think it would be on the 27th we have mars moving into sagittarius this is going to light up your third house so this gives you action where mars goes he brings action he brings energy he brings movement right so you can take action you can start having some conversations making some decisions doing some writing maybe you're a writer um study something right you just have the energy behind it now keep in mind that while mars brings energy Mars really likes to bring conflict as well. So you could be still having some harsh words, maybe even in the home space, okay? Just keep that in mind though. We could all learn to work with the Mars energy, especially when we can see it coming. The nice part, Libra, is that you're also um, a Venus ruled planet. So you and Mars usually find a way to get it worked out so it's not too tumultuous or anything like that. And instead you can use it to be very successful. Speak your truth, right? Now, at the end of the month, we've got a lunar eclipse happening in Leo. For you, this lights up the 11th house, the friendship zone, the social zone, social media, any place where social things, social justice, any of these things, any of those ideas will be activated for you now. Now, this eclipse is a total, so it's blotting out. So we're going to have an emotional reset here. So Libra, some of you may be looking over your friendship zone. Who are you running with? Are these people Team Libra? Um, who are you running with? Are you really on? On their team because sometimes we're showing up in people's lives and we're not really there to support them right let that ish go bring nourishment bring soul nourishment into your life and be soul nourishment for other people as well now in terms of your social things um, who are you on social media are you trying to start a business you're trying to launch something you're trying to put something out there you have something you feel like you're called to well where can we find you on the internet are you using the internet to teach you the skills that you need to learn in order to further something are you networking right it's just a wonderful time now the 11th house is also not just friends but it's long-range goals and desires and these are the things that you want you have a beautiful amount of communication energy with Mars being in Sagittarius now what do you want Libra the world is yours for the taking, no matter where you are, no matter what your circumstance is. What do you want? Set a course, set a plan, and there is always a way. Always. All right, Libra, I think it's going to be a great first month. We've got some good energies we're working with. We're going to eclipse, so we're going to reset. We've got a month of moon, so we've got some transition, but I feel like it's all to the better to get us going here in 2018. All right, guys, I look forward to seeing you in $3 Thursdays. Click in the description box, get signed up. Come visit me at stormygrace.com. And of course, like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you next month. Bye, Libra.